I was really hoping for Tentacruel. Not gonna lie. Really hoping for that Tentacruel. Come on now. nearly as good as Dragon Claw, though. I, well, I do get stabbed, so it's not going to be. But I'm running low on it. Gotta pat it out somehow. I wish I had the Super Rod, and then I could just farm Gyarados. This is what I was looking for. How much is this gonna do? Well, it's super effective, so it's gonna do enough. Hell yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that sweet experience. I'll make it so much faster. Yeah, 2000. 2000. So, two tentacruel, and I should be good. I think for the next level. Oh, no. Pelipper, why? Why must you forsake me? For a 35% chance, I sure do see you a lot. To swallow a thing. What thing were you gonna swallow? The water? I mean, it would take three Pelipper, but it's close. It's just far enough away from Tendercruel's experience to not give me enough. But it's just close enough to where it's still kind of beneficial. I'm glad this takes it out in one hit, though. More or less, anyway. It seems like I'm always messing with my mic in some way. Uh, we're running out of stuff to do with you, Pelper. Running out of stuff. This is like the second time I've been hit so far. Oh my god. And it still did quite a bit of damage. Well, at least I got a level up. I thought it was 55. I could have sworn it was 55. Well, wow. that's hi. I could have swore it was 55. I, I just automatically assume all dragons are at 55. Well, hi, how are you? Crunch. Oh. Truck outside, guy goes losing his mind. Oh boy.
This is technically better than Slash. But this has a high crit ratio. But I'll get rid of Slash. I never use it anyway. And I'd rather have a uh, type spread. Oh. Uh, so that means I don't have to use all my. Uh, yeah, uh, two shares. Um, rare candies, like I was going to. Hello. Dude, look at this attack stat. 148. Oh. Uh, it's so nice. Uh, okay. You still have two levels to go. We're, we're getting there. We're working on it. With the mic being this close to my face, I don't have to yell as as much, which is wonderful. But I have this thing. I, I don't know if it's like a phobia of things being too close to my face. Like this, this kind of freaks me out, but it's off to the side so I can see it, so it's not that bad. But if things get close to my face, I I go into full-blown panic attacks, so... That's why I don't like having it close to my face. But it does save my throat, so... Well, we'll see how it goes. It also puts a shadow because of the light. Which I could just move the light. To get rid of that shadow. Oh, I'm running out of stuff. Maybe I'll mess with the lighting later. Maybe I should do that before stream. Do I plan ahead of things? No, not in the slightest. It also bothers me that my that me myself is not centered in the camera. But it's fine. Because uh um, if I have me centered in the camera, you see the mic like real bad, and I don't like that. So either way, I'm not happy. Oh, you missed? I- Something bothers me about Garchomp's back sprite. It just looks so weird and out of place-ish. Ew, don't throw up on me! That's rude and gross. I mean, rock, rock Climb does have 85% accuracy, which isn't horrible, but it's not great either. But it does a lot of damage with uh, Garchomp's attack stat, so I'll take it. I guess after the stream is done, I'll mess with the lighting. Because this, this shadow is like really bothering me. How much does this do on one hit? Before it was doing a little more than half, or a little less than half. Oh, that's a critical hit, that doesn't count. That's inaccurate numbers. It was still good though. It's very satisfying. But now our whole team is fully evolved. We've come such a long way. And I've kept the majority of uh, our starting team too. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Makes us take longer. It also just wastes my move. Okay, let's see how much this does now. No critical hits, please. I did a little bit more. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. It is like nothing. Uh... Oh, I love having a powerhouse. I'm still kind of worried about Cynthia's Garchomp, though. 
Because if I remember right, it has Dragon Dance, Dragon Rush, Dragon Claw, and I think Earthquake. So, uh, hmm. You don't take it out real quick. Uh, it gonna sweep you. It gonna sweep you right under that rug and not not care. Not give, not be a second thought after that. It's also level 66, so that's terrifying in and of itself. You're almost guaranteed to be under level getting to her. How much more do you have? You only got two levels, so... Okay. Two Genacruel and a Pelipper? Or like, four Pelipper? Not bad. Also, another strategy that I have never used is just teaching TMs as I go through just to refill PP. But a move gets too low on PP, doesn't really have much of a use, just change it out with something else. It's a valid strat, and it works pretty well if you have the right TMs. Why? Why? thing that I haven't worked up on my desk is where to put my drink. Because where I want to put my drink is in the way of my monitor or it's way over here underneath the shelf. I guess I should probably go heal. Look at how much health she has. Oh my god. I also need to look at her biome, her dex entry. I'm pretty sure I've looked at all of them. It uses a special kind of martial arts involving all of its limbs. Its fire never goes out. Does that count if it's submerged in water? It has a savage nature. It will courageously challenge foes that are much larger. It's a mockingbird. It makes its nest by damming streams with bark and mud. It is known as an industrious worker. It has eyes that can see through anything. It spots and captures prey hidden behind walls. That's why they're frequently with the, uh officers uh, who else do I have wow where is the rest of my team on here here we go when it folds up its body and extends its wings it looks like a jet plane it flies at sonic speed Oh, that's terrifying. Imagine that coming towards you. Oh, hmm. No thanks. The mock Pokemon. Yeah, that makes sense. Drop a rig. Its tail also has a small brain. It bites to repel any foe trying to sneak up on it from behind. Pretty sure you read that one just because you don't evolve, but I like to know all about them. And that was everybody. Man, Garchomp is just terrifying. Like, Gibble, Gibble's cute. Gibble doesn't look threatening at all. Gabite is just adorable, and I love them. They're kind of scary with their, uh, claws as hands. But Garchomp, mmm, he's, he's, uh, you don't want to come across him in the wild. He will. No thanks. No thanks. And in Unite, he's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Does so much damage. He's fun to play as, though. Hi, Pelipper. You ready to be climbed like a rock? Oh, uh, why? Why do you gotta do this to me? I just wanna climb you like rocks. That's it.
I think once everybody gets to level 50, I'll see how they all stack up against each other. Just, just curiosity's sake. Oh, we're getting close. Like, one more tentacle, tentacruel and a pelipper, or like, two or three pelipper. It's actually gone a little bit faster than I thought it would. For Lilith, specifically. Failed to swallow a thing. I love how it's just not specific about what it's trying to swallow. Like, it could say it had nothing to swallow, but it's like, it, it, it couldn't swallow it. It just couldn't. It was too big, you couldn't swallow it. Don't take that out of context. Another thing I want to start doing is every hour and a half, since I do three hour streams, is take a break for like five, ten minutes. And just do like five, ten minutes longer to make up for it. Just so I give my body a break and stretch and stuff. Eventually, when we get a house, I do want to get a standing desk. That way I can just stand up. And not have to be sitting all the time. Because I'm way more energetic and just more relaxed standing. But my knee does not allow that to happen for too long. So I do need to sit down. And, uh, ah, this slide out cannot handle the uh, massive weight that would be a standing desk. They're also just super expensive. Like, outrageously expensive. I got the confused. Oh, that's great. I hit it so hard, it's dazed. One more level to go. One more level. Part of me wants to use all the rare candies on Lilith, so she's the highest team member. And can take on Cynthia's stuff with little problem. But also, the rest of my team would be kinda, well, I guess one level wouldn't make that much of a difference. Be honest. I failed to spit up a thing. Again, same thing with the swallow. Their wording choices are phenomenal. Oh, that didn't do it? Well. Well, now you can swallow or spit up something. I don't know what that is still, but you can do it. should do that with Lilith instead. Considering so she's definitely not going to be getting any levels throughout the Elite Four. And having her at 59 would be very beneficial. Because then at least she's almost on par with the rest of Cynthia's team. on it. I have plenty of time to think on it.
All right, let's get you that level, Lilith. You know, I got one more to go. Hi, Tentacruel. You're more what I'm looking for. It's gonna be so weird once I finish this game. We've been playing it for so long. It's gonna be like, oh, well, what do I do now? The, the game that I've been playing is done. We finished it. I mean, there's still post-game stuff to do, which is gonna be a little bit longer, but you know. It's just gonna be weird. I had that, that same feeling when I was doing, uh... Slime Rancher, I think. Cause that game took so long. And then I was just done with it. I finished the story, it's like, well... What do I do now? I, I've been playing this game so long, I know nothing but this game. It, it's my life. What, what do I do now? Luckily for me, I have, an, I have games coming up to replace it, so... I won't have to worry about it too long. Halfway there. And then we'll have three level 50. I guess Star Raptor for Sparkle will be the next one I go for. And then it's just Larry and Rocky who is gonna be a challenge, to say the least. Excuse you, Windows update. No, it's it's Defender. Why are you up? I I swear I had those uh, the sounds for Windows turned off, but I guess not. I guess they turned themselves back on. Windows just has to get its word in every time, huh? I'm glad that my my device hasn't gotten any viruses though. But this is not the time to tell me. I got to confuse again. That's so rare. I think this is the only time that I've ever gotten it. Oh, you didn't even take yourself out with that? Jane. I don't think I've ever gotten the confuse from rock, uh, rock climb. That's so funny. a lot of you, Pelipper. You are not even supposed to be seen this much, numbers-wise, but you can know. Here we are. Seeing a bunch of Pelippers. Sometimes I I say a Pokemon's name too much and I forget the, the actual name for the thing it's based off of, like Caterpie and Caterpile, I've said more than Caterpillar. So I forgot the word for cal Caterpillar. As like, it's not, it's not Caterpie, not Caterpie, not Caterpile. What, what is this worm creature? <laughs> Caterpillar. Just like Pelipper, I was like, you're not based off a stork, what are you based off of? A pelican, it's a pelican brain. Uh, sometimes my brain's just like, it's this thing, this thing's the only thing that, that exists anymore. Also, can we not, please, Pelipper? 
I would like you to disappear. No, don't do that. How much is Dragon Claw gonna do? Typically, I wouldn't learn Dragon Rush just because it's kind of inaccurate, but Dragon Rush on Garchomp is pretty. Mm, it, it will absolutely demolish team so fast. It is tempting if I get it to that level. Well, if that is, I don't know. Dragon Rush with the high attack stat plus Dragon Fang. Instant demolition team right there. Okay, we got little 1250. That didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. Don't get me wrong, still took a while. I could have just gave it to you. <laughs> Yo, this is not what I wanted. I'm hitting all the wrong things. All the wrong things. I guess this is as good a place as any. The train sparkle. I'm debating on giving someone the Razor Claw to up my critical hit chance. And I think Sparkle would be best for that just because Sparkle only has a Shell Bell that's worth holding. It doesn't have anything that ups its stab or anything. So maybe that'll be better than the Shell Bell. I should really just use Pluck. I'm going to spend two turns doing this and have to take it out with another one anyway, so I'm going to just pluck it. Yeah, see? Three turns. No, not payback. It does like nothing. Caliber does not have a good attack stat. <laughs> critical hit. I don't think you needed it, buddy. 